Plenty of drama is going on, but never more than now, and the people claiming to thank you for their untalented work, if you can even call it work, the people putting out fat fetish content, are ignoring your actual feeling about you being there for them. Only here, you are being there for them with your money, which is the whole point, cloaked in the name of fat pride, and them telling you, the viewer, that they love being fat. Yeah, I'm sure you did. We've had enough of the lying going on here, and people in the community acting fake, let's quit fucking around. Now Candy Kane, oh don't we love the Kanes. By the way with her name in the title, could automatically make you believe her husband will be watching this. Now what did Candy lie about? Before getting to that, we think Candy lied telling everyone that she loves being f on US 101 South for 8 miles. You can believe that, if it fits your fantasy land, but any normal human being with an IQ above 12 wouldn't fall for that leading you on type of manipulation. Now for what Candy provably lied about. We caught her in a lie on multiple videos, when she filed four copyright complaints, and they all went unheard of afterward. But Candy will get away with that, clearly nothing out of the ordinary here, but Candy, you're watching and you lied about the four filed complaints. Wrapping it up quickly, Candy wrote in every filed complaint that the content in four videos were from her Patreon, when they weren't. And we're gonna be able to prove that now on Twitter, not one time had anyone watched Candy give a follow-up from her claim, and we made a video covering that, the entire community didn't want to hear about it, they were too busy playing with their Hell you knew that. They enjoyed it when Candy told them, that she probably won't wear an old outfit out in public, because people would be too tempted to touch, her round, soft belly. And you can hear the audio of her saying that by checking the tag below. Now I already mentioned that everyone should quit playing around, and it's clear that no one actually cares, primarily about a few old videos, that really I would've removed anyway, but it will show you the viewer, that one of the people who you are giving money to, will lie to cover up content that they don't like, or would show, you, the money slave, that you may be giving money to a corrupt creator. Candy mentioned that our content here had a photo from her intellectual media profile, and that every video had a photo directly from her Patreon displayed throughout the entire video. Check the tag below, we put it all together in a quick video. Now many probably won't care, clearly the community would rather be on their knee begging for more content, and living on the internet would make anyone have a lot of respect for people who bring you down, which generally fulfill their fetish, and they'll attack anyone trying to show them out of the chaotic nightmare. We don't hate candy, it hardly matters, but really, if a creator in the community is lying in a copyright form in order to prevent people from watching a video that uncovered truth, knowing their average viewer might become critical of them, then that's a corrupt bond. Candy could already get in a lot of trouble in the future, whether for the fueling of the young men who are glued to their phones, potentially becoming self-harmful from their addiction with the fat admiring community, or for the fetish video she put out. According to viewers, the baby audio while Candy had been sexually gazing at the camera had been viewed by a large group of people. More than one viewer had already claimed the form of kitty p and Candy uploaded it and then deleted it according to them and now both of the canes are being quiet about it. Be around for more, we're tired of the bullshit, the fat admiring community is made up of two parties. The heifer, portraying a god, and the slave, who will go along with anything that they're told. Change the name of the fat admiring community? to the bitches, and the cuckolds. The time for pretending will end, and when you give it up after comprehending how pathetic they really are, living on the internet, mom bringing them food while going through feedback written by a cuck, or more than one cuck, you'll get how pathetic it is to be a part of their community. That's why they hate me, I won't feel bad for the pathetic prying boys, or for a heifer who haven't a clue of what reality really is. You think Candy would remain quiet if there was no money coming in. We would bet both of the canes would be going off on me right now, but they don't want to let the general public know that they both watch. Really, in our opinion. The only thing different about Candy and I is that one of us is collecting a lot of money and giving up their internal self-respect. Hubby Kane, don't forget to grab Cleo, he would love a long walk in the neighborhood. And give it time while you're out there, your computer game can wait. <laughs>